three, two, one. The foundation for this project actually started about two years ago when Rich Swanson, the CEO lead for Tesla Engineering, uh, attended a rocket launch in Argonia, Kansas. Well, fast forward a year ago and Rich approached us saying, how would you like to fly rockets for Honeywell? It's called RAZOR, Research and Sounding Rockets, uh, is a program we started really this year. And one of the big benefits we see is engaging a lot of people. First thing we did is we uh, Research to see what kind of universities are out there, who's flying rockets out there. There are several benefits to partnering with our universities. Uh, Kansas City is trying to execute a high tempo process and partnering with the universities allows us to fly quickly and frequently and often in a cost-effective manner. And so the primary purpose for this is to understand our technology and to mature it quicker and then have a rhythm, have a process that's high tempo to to march through and actually maybe eventually end up with a process that's faster to develop new technology and insert it. The rocket environment provides a multi-axis vibration and we hope to utilize that difference in environment uh, to predict or to discover new things about these emerging technologies that we can't get on the ground. The payloads so far have been additively manufactured metal and polymer components. Uh, the launch environment allows us to compare uh, the data that we get from the performance of those pieces to our computer model. Really, it saves a lot of time and money right now if you're using the simulations appropriately. It can help in the design effort, it can help in the, um, the actual launch effort, it can help in assembly, it can help in, uh, in looking and seeing why did things happen the way they happened. When we shoot the rockets, we basically arm, arm our system and then we have a switch in there that it can detect when the rocket launches. Two, one. And once that detects rocket launch, it starts recording the data. We have accelerometers, we have rate gyros, we have temperature sensors, and we have strain gauges. We use the data acquisition to sample all those sensors at 10,000 times a second, and then we bring back that data for post-analysis. The next steps that we will do are launching more payloads with our existing university partners. And we are also looking at uh, potentially using commercial companies, things like NASA, and partnering with our Sandia counterparts to increase our environments. These rocket launches are just one way to bridge the gap between current processes and new technology.